In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best zone beating and man beating concepts today out of the tight slots halfback week in Madden 23. This play destroys literally everything. It's super, super simple uh, to be able to run it effectively. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this play flood. Now, this play is super effective out of tight slots. You can get my entire tight slots offensive ebook if you want to learn uh, how to run this play day in and day out, how to run this play every single time with significant amount of success. This is one of the best plays in the entire game. And uh, tight slots, I think, is as, as a whole, is one of the better offenses in the game. So how do you run flood at a really high level? There's several different setups for this play. Um, but the one that I'm going to be talking about today is we're going to take Vada Scantling. We are going to put him on a streak. We're going to take Julian Edelman on this backside here. And we are simply going to put him on a slot apprentice post. And then we're going to snap the ball as fast as we possibly can. And what you're going to notice here is even with inside shades, this corner route is one of the most consistent routes in the game. The thing that is unique about tight slots is not just the fact that it can be very, very good at beating man coverage, because it can, but is really more so how the receivers actually run their routes. Um that is the thing that is super unique about tight slots. You'll see here that this they, they, they just run their routes, I think, just a step or two faster than pretty much any other formation in the game. Just I'm just telling you, from my experience, the way they run these routes are super, super good. So as you can see there, the, the, the post route to the back is able to attack man-to-man -man coverage really well. Now, let's say that you get a cover zero style of pressure. Um, you know, maybe they start sending some heat. This play, this formation generally, I think is one the best at blocking pressure um but you can just step up and throw your drag as you see right there in the middle of the field that drag is going to oftentimes be wide open now if they are going to run man coverage on you another thing that you can do let's say they use or the drag route over the middle of the field so they kind of sit down on this drag really hardcore in the middle of the field then what you're going to want to do number one you can look to your uh, corner route you see right there right on the cut it just really does mess up man coverage uh, really really bad this year the other thing is you can take your little check down to your running back now let's get into some zone stuff so if they are going to run um, like a little cover three send five uh, zone pressure here let me show you uh, again your tight end is going to be open super super fast uh, over the middle but the other thing that you can do is you can highball that if, if they jump down if they're jumping down and following the the tight end route which that wasn't a great example but if they jump down and they follow your tight end route then you can highball that route to uh, Julian Edelman so you'll see right here this will be a little bit better uh, of an example of kind of what it's going to look like when they start to really carry the tight end um, if you're patient in the pocket here and patient under pressure what you'll notice is i look left no not there oh there but they're there and i can highball that in the middle of the field uh just like that so that's kind of a again another example now if they stay back let's say that they carry um let's say that they carry like the the route to the running back or not the route to the running back but the route over the middle of the field to julian edelman then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try to take that tight end route, which is going to almost always be open right in that little pocket right there. It's super hard to guard that in zone. Um, that little pocket right there is super, super effective. So now they're going to have to kind of get out of this, this coverage and um, they're going to have to do some other something else, right? So that can vary player to player, like what they're going to actually do. Uh, from a coverage perspective, one of the things we're starting to see it grow in popularity as people are learning the game is these vertical hooks. Um, this vertical hook, you see there, the tight end is going to come into the area of the vertical hook, and it makes it so that that vertical hook is very unlikely uh, to guard this play in zone. Now, this is cover two. I have my match coverage set to on, but what you'll notice is when you drag this tight end, that vertical hook rarely follows that corner route, and that corner route is going to get open pretty much against every zone in the game. You want to run that corner route um, with your trips, like with your with your, um, with your your corner route being on the short side of the field. That's going to help it get open against zone. And then you'll see here, here's cover four. And you see just how clean. That's what's really interesting about tight slots this year is like it's just super crisp, super clean formation, and stuff just works. It just gets open really, really, really well. Um, so I showed you cover two. Uh, I'll show you cover three real quick. 
out of this. So this is what a cover three defense, like a press cover three would look like. You see there the tight end was open. I had the corner route as well. Um, I did get screamed at 245 odd, one of the best defenses in the game. Um, if you guys haven't got my 245 odd defensive ebook yet, I would really encourage you to check that out. That is going to be linked down in the Patreon below, um, as well as my tight slots ebook. They're both in there. But what you'll see here is against cover three, as long as you don't get screamed at, this corner is going to be wide open. And if you do get screamed at, chances are they're sending four or five. And if they're sending four or five at you, and then they're, then we're getting into this this whole deal where their user has to choose, who am I going to guard? Am I going to guard the post or am I going to guard the tight end? That's the big question they have to answer. Um, as you'll see right here, if they don't guard the tight end, we're going to take that check down every single time for five to ten yards a clip. So super simple concept today, but really effective at attacking uh, zone coverage. You can run this play flood in a million different ways. It is truly one of the most versatile passing concepts in the game. If you want to get my entire tight slots offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description of the video.